हेलो फ्रेंड्स ऑल यू कंस्ट्रक्शन टेक्नोक्रेट्स आर वेलकम टू कंस्ट्रक्नोज फोरम टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट अ सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलप्ड ऑन एक्सेल विथ विजुअल बेसिक इट इज डिजाइंड फॉर द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ क्रॉस सेक्शंस एज वेल एज फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग द वॉल्यूम ऑफ अर्थवर्क इन इम्बैंकमेंट The cross section developed on this software can be easily transferred to AutoCAD where you can make some additions or modifications as and when required. The main features of this software are quantity calculation, making cross sections, converting cross sections in PDF, transferring cross sections to AutoCAD and quantity calculation for monthly billing and the most importantly it is very easy to operate even a beginner level of excel user can operate it and of course it is almost free so let us see how this software works and how to operate it the first sheet of this software is format for data as we know any software works based on input data provided by the user and the software can work properly only if we provide the input data in the same format in which the software is designed otherwise errors will occur therefore this sheet is only to guide you in understanding the format of the input data to be provided please read this sheet carefully this is self explanatory the second sheet is the ogl input sheet as we have already discussed the data should be in exactly the same format as shown here it is not necessary to feed your ogl data here in this same sheet if your surveyor has prepared his own ogl sheet that sheet can be imported directly into this file but the only condition is that the format of the data should be same as shown here you can create multiple ogl input sheets based on your needs for different sections the next sheet is for profile input data This sheet is like the previous sheet for OGL input and is self-explanatory. These additional data are needed to prepare the cross section. In this sheet, only the first four columns marked in red are mandatory, and the remaining seven columns, that is five to eleven, are optional. These are for your reference only the computer does not read these seven columns like ogl input sheets you can create multiple profile data sheets based on your needs for different sections now this is the main calculation sheet where you get all the output including the cross sections at each channel let me explain how we work here first of all i would like you to know that there is a floating icon with three control points the first control point is to navigate you directly to data related to the location shown on the cross section and the second control is for navigate you directly down where the cross section is displayed whereas the third one is for refresh the formula used in calculations it is useful whenever any abnormality is seen in the calculation sheet now these four group of icons are the main icons used to run this software calculations we will discuss about these four icons one by one first we will import the ogl data for the required section from 
the respective OGL input sheet. For this, click on the first icon that is data icon. You will now get a list of sheets available in your file. From this list, you need to select the corresponding serial number of the sheet that contains the required profile data for your section. If you are not sure about the name of the profile sheet or the required sheet is already attached, you can leave it for now by clicking the escape key. The required profile data sheets can be attached or changed at any time later as and when required. After this, the computer will ask for the billing data sheet. We will discuss about this later, so we will leave it for now by clicking the escape key. Now the computer asks for OGL data sheet. This is important data and cannot be ignored. Therefore, it is mandatory to provide the serial number of the OGL data sheet, which is 2 here. Now, follow the instructions asked by the computer to import OGL. You can now see that the third icon named profile has highlighted in orange. This means you must skip the second icon and directly click on this icon to go to the next step. The data in this shaded area is coming from the profile data sheet. As mentioned earlier, the required profile data sheet can be added or changed at any time as and when required. Before proceeding, it is always best to check that the connected profile data sheet is correct or need to be changed. Profile data sheet and billing data sheet both can be checked and modified under head linking of data sheets. After the verification of linking data sheets, we need to create the profile of the embankment by clicking on the highlighted icon of profile. Now follow the instructions on computer step by step to complete this stage of creating profile.
after this step is completed you can see that the profile outline of the embankment has been drawn but the upper edges of the embankment or the edges of the berm have not been drawn accurately the reason behind this inaccuracy is that the offsets taken during the ogl survey are not matching with the offsets required for these edges it is therefore necessary to generate new offsets for these corners of the embankment for this you must click on the fourth icon named offset which is highlighted in orange color again follow the instructions of computer step by step to complete this stage of creating new offsets After this step is completed, you can see that some new offsets have been inserted in red color between the existing offsets. And with this, our embankment profile is all set. Sometimes it happens that the generated cross sections does not fit properly in the chart area. In that case, click anywhere on the chart area, the computer will automatically adjust the cross section based on the data you provided. You can see an AutoCAD icon on the right top corner of the plot area. By clicking on this icon, the cross sections generated here will be transferred to the already opened AutoCAD file or to a new AutoCAD file if not already opened. There are some more features which will be covered in the second part but you can also understand easily by using those icons. See you soon with the second part. Till then, goodbye. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.